Well, here we are, from fragility and resilience to our from there to here events, we have arrived at the end of our year of magical thinking and reached our 21st season finale, Manifestation. My name is Sarah Bob. I'm the founding artistic director of the New Gallery Concert Series and pianist. And whether this is your first time joining us or you've been here since the beginning, I welcome you to what we hope is the final pandemic realization of our series. Our ideas turn to action, turn to true art making, and in turn, turn to community. And it has oddly been one of our best seasons yet. You have come to keep the arts alive and thriving. You have come to keep space in your body, mind, and spirit for all things beautiful, all things transcendent, but also through the arts, you have come to confront all things tragically real. And I thank you. The New Gallery Concert Series is the coming together of new music, new visual art, with everyone represented alive and well. A huge thank you to you, our donors, the Longy School of Music of Bard College for their partnership, the Amphion Foundation COVID Relief Fund, the New Gal Board of Directors, and all of the dynamic, insightful, and committed participants. I also want to take a moment to thank two people who have been with me for this whole experimental 2021 season, Rhea D'Alizio at Longi, who has provided calm and perspective to this online endeavor, and Scott Quady, who as videographer and editor has been so patient with my specific asks for how, when, and where the art and music should come together. He has also made his own appreciated and significant contributions, so thank you. So I ask that you see today how we have manifested and what might continue to manifest. Tonight's event ranging from ideas of depression to joy, from living in the moment to hope for our future, we recognize that we are always learning, creating, and evolving. Please stay tuned for our upcoming 22nd season schedule. Find us on social media and our website, www.newgalleryconcertseries.org. Whether we end up seeing you online, in person, or both, thank you for being with us. Thank you for continuing to donate. And thank you for taking care of yourselves.
Hi, I'm Michael Veloso. I'm a composer in the greater Boston area, and I am thrilled that Sarah Bob has decided to present some of my music for Manifestations. A uh, bit of background, uh, Having It Out With Melancholy is a poem cycle by Jane Kenyon about her lifelong struggle with, with depression. And it's a struggle that many people I'm close to have undergone. Uh, I first encountered the poem cycle many, many years ago when I was in college and uh, immediately wanted to set it to music, but it never felt like the circumstances were quite right for one reason or another. Uh, and then, many years after that, um, I got to work with Molly Sostry and Jaggery on the music for a local theater production. And our musical sensibilities fit so well that we decided we wanted to come up with a project to work on together ourselves. And this seemed like the perfect moment to do what I've been wanting to do for, uh, for a long time. Uh, so, um, from the nursery, the first poem in the cycle fits into the theme of manifestation in a rather dark and somber way. Uh, so, depression is complicated, and I don't think we fully understand it, but there's evidence that there's a genetic component to it. And so, as Jane Kenyon laments in her poem, uh, for some, depression is something that's latent from birth, uh, that's there only just waiting to emerge, and once it manifests, can never be fully banished. And you'll hear a little bit of Wood Thrush, which is the closing poem of the cycle, uh, which to me is about um, not defeating depression, but accepting it and finding uh, some measure of peace and reconciliation and trying to accept small joys wherever they can be found. Hi, I'm Laurie San Martin. And I'm Jonathan Bailey Holland. And I'm going to talk to you about a piece I wrote called Etude 0.75, and this is uh, for solo piano. It's part of a larger piece that I wrote for the Radius Ensemble in 2019, a seven movement piece. And this is a fresh little movement for solo piano that comes uh, movement five, I believe. And um, at the time I wrote it, um, well, throughout my compositional existence, I've listened to a lot of David Rakowski's music. He was my teacher and he's written many etudes and preludes. And so this one comes out of the sort of fast motoric etudes that he likes to write. Uh, and it's written for Sarah Bob. Um, I'm really delighted with how Sarah took this and um, brought it into a concert that she has put together with Aaron where they blend the two, where the percussion comes in at the end of the piece and then transitions into the next piece. And I just love this format. I told my own production staff that this is what we should be doing when we started the pandemic and started the pandemic. When we started trying to figure out how to have concerts, I, I just really loved the way that um, Sarah and Aaron took these pieces and some of them were written for both of them and some of them were individual and they blended it into a concert. So uh, I'm really pleased to be part of this and thank you. Yeah, and uh, it's great how Aaron's improvisation connects your piece with my piece. Uh, the piece is called For Two and it was written for Sarah and Aaron for their wedding. Uh, as part of their wedding ceremony, they wanted a piece to play together uh, and not knowing how one would be able to focus on playing a piece together at your wedding. Uh, I wanted to write something that was just sort of fun and easygoing and um, ha had a little bit of freedom to it so that they could figure out how to um, how to relate to one another, which seems rather symbolic. Uh, and I'm glad to see that the piece has had a life beyond uh, that wedding ceremony. So I uh, hope you enjoy. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Hi, I'm Carl Steffen. I'm an artist and art educator here in Cambridge, Massachusetts. I'm delighted to be taking part in manifestation with the New Gallery Concert Series. I want to thank Sarah Bob and New Gal, Longy School of Music, and all the fantastic musicians and performers and people behind the scenes who helped make this event possible. Even in adversity, and especially in adversity, art and music can bring us joy. I hope you will enjoy Manifestation. Hi, this is Eden McAdam Somer. Um, I'm actually sitting in my car right now on my way home from my first uh, wedding gig in a year. It was an outdoor gig um, and I'm freezing. And I'm coming home and I thought I would just take a moment before uh, getting back to the house and the craziness of, of home life with two little kids and uh, send this message about my piece. Um, so in mid-March, my husband Aaron and I went over to Carl's studio for the first time and after the long dark hard winter that we had it was like stepping into an just an incredibly vibrant and beautiful garden it was gorgeous and filled me instantly with warmth and as Carl and I spoke about his process um, his ideas about um, what sound might might look like on the page I began to think of course of how uh, the visual aspect of his work the texture and the colors might might manifest through sound um, and then we also spoke about resilience and, and how tough this year has been and how um, in spite of it all, we've, I think we've all found ways to, to draw on our strengths and to tap into our strengths and to continue to find ways to, to try to make our lives and the world a, a more beautiful place. And so I went home and thought about all of that and um, a poem started to run through my mind and so this is what what came about. So I think this piece, when I think about manifestation, I think about the manifestation of hope and the manifestation of, of um, strength, of, um, of color, of light, of spring, so many things. So I'm, I'm just really grateful to have had this opportunity um, and to share this evening with these other inspiring artists and I hope you enjoy.
sticks, built frames, built fires, huddled around tiny sparks of dreams, sheltering our spirits against the long dark hours. Stretching, straining against our husks, we turn gladly to the sun, bursting into colorful blooms. Hi everyone, thank you for uh, tuning in. My name is Clifton Ingram. Um, thank you to uh, New Gal so much uh, for this Manifestations concert. Uh, in terms of uh, the piece that I'm here to talk to you about, which is my string trio, uh, Taya Faka, uh, it fits into the Manifestation theme, I think, because there's a lot of hiddenness uh, in the piece. There's a lot of uh, things pulling the strings behind uh, maybe closed doors or... or uh, 
closed curtains or something. Um, what's happening there is there's a French Baroque uh, quotation from Jacques Champion de Champagnier, who's sort of a more obscure uh, early 17th century steel brise composer, and uh, I've manipulated it in all sorts of ways uh, to create this piece that I think, uh, while it gives you the sense that it's really highly structured, uh, it's also rather amorphous. Uh, and the reason for this was that the piece was originally commissioned by the Boston uh, group Castle of Our Skins in celebration of black artistry. And I was writing the piece uh, to sort of go as a companion to the idea uh, or to a sculpture uh, by a, a artist, a South African artist named uh, Nicholas Schlobo. And uh, Tayafaka is this uh, sculpture uh, that he made that uh, sort of snakes through the gallery. You can never see the whole thing all at the same time. Uh, it's primarily made out of rubber, and it has a lot of colorful um, uh, lace or, or silk pieces uh, sort of stitched into it. And so there's always this idea of um, with with Schlobo where uh, he's cut off the ailments of society, but then he's reintegrated them back in. So getting rid of the, the sort of the failures or or anything like that, like the getting rid of the ugliness or the sort of uncomfortable aspects of something, but then somehow working it back in in, in this sort of utopian framework of art on some level uh, was was something of of interest to me. Um, <clears throat> And uh, to sort of extend that and to, to graft it onto another uh, big love of mine um, in, term of, in terms of black artistry is sort of the, the speculative fiction writer, uh, Samuel Delaney. Uh, there are a lot of quotations and references to uh, his uh, amazing 1970s novel, uh, sort of this labyrinthine read, which is called Dahlgren. Um, and so there's all these, these sort of things in play. There's the French Baroque, which is sort of more my personal thing. Um, and then there's the sculpture by Schlobo and then Delaney, uh, sort of sci-fi author, um, all mixed, all mixed in sort of to, to sort of hide the connections in such and, but also to, to reveal them. And so hopefully, hopefully you enjoy that. Uh, and again, thank you so much, uh, for tuning in and thank you so much to, to the folks at Nougal for making this possible uh, and all their hard work. And also to the musicians, of course, for their beautiful job. And to Ramiro, uh, who is just amazing. And, and you'll, you'll see why. Thank you.